everyone welcome back to another video we're going to make some jamaican apple crisp now jamaican apple is in season now OTET apple so it comes around twice per year in february and in summer and what other way i can think of of making a nice dessert more than some apple crisp now you are going to need some firm apples you are going to need old-fashioned oats quick oats i find get too um soggy for this recipe so you want to use um old-fashioned oats now now if you know me you know i prefer to use old-fashioned oats just because it is so versatile you can make granola bars you can make um desserts you can always use it as a binder it don't get too um soggy so i prefer to use this and if is it that i want to have my oats a little bit smoother then i would blend it out you know what i mean all right so let's get started guys in this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like it and subscribe to our channel let's get straight into this one i had washed my apples ahead of time you can see it nice red juicy sweet apples i have and as you know too jamaican apple makes nice juice Comment below guys what are some of the recipe you do with this apple so I can know and we can share our ideas together. We remove the seed from the apple. We don't want the seed and then this little the bottom part of it you want to remove that as well. And it does come with a little brown section in it as well that little vein you just take it out. You want to slice them up, not too thick, not too thin, all right? We're going to add on some cornstarch and this is just to absorb any the liquid that is going to release from the apples, all right? We're going to add some spice and here I have cinnamon powder and mixed spice. And of course some salt. A little sugar. I've got my pipe on here and I'm just gonna line them out Now that we have prepared our apples, we are going to start with our oats. What we are going to do guys is to brown our butter. All 
right guys now that the butter is brown we're going to add it to the oats so our oats here we're going to add whole wheat flour some more salt cinnamon powder and mixed spice sugar and I can tell you already how lovely it smells all the lovely flavors of the cinnamon powder and the mixed spice and you know your mixed spice have some star anise in there as well and nutmeg it just depends on the type of mixed spice you're using lovely so what I'm doing here now you don't have to do it but I just kind of crumpling it together And when the apples start baking, the oats will just kind of absorb all the liquid there. And you know, it won't be too soggy or mushy or anything like that. You want to properly cover all of the apples. Now guys, I'm putting it on a tray just in case it kind of bubble over. So we're going to bake this for 30 minutes at 180 degrees, all right? Okay guys, we're out of the oven and as you can see, it's bubbling up already and guess what, we have to make it cool because like with any pie, you want to make it cool so that all the liquid underneath can absorb in the oats, all right? So this don't radiate as much as all. We just want to dig in it right now. We're not ready to eat it as yet. But I love how it look, I love how it smell. I talking to you and I'm salivating <laughs> already um so we're just gonna leave it for like an hour and then we return all right guys this is still warm we're going to take out a piece of it now This, my friend, is such a nice dessert to try. Oh my gosh. So good. And full of fiber too. And it's not overly sweet. I can only take out piece, one little teeny piece. <laughs> it's not overly sweet, guys. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. very nice mm, and so juicy and as you can see it's not um too soggy or wet it's just perfect perfect um dessert to try guys i hope you give this recipe a try thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye